What's going on, everybody? This is Scott Jaw, and uh, I haven't made a live cob in a long time, but I'm here with my friend Stapler. But as you may know him from his egotistical king, alter ego, King Raja, uh, he's here with me today. Hello, guys. I am Raja. I have an ego the size of the <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> It is a very large ego, and this is my racist stereotype. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah, what? Wait, what am I supposed to say? I don't know how to That's do in a freaking... What? I don't know how to do that, Stapler. Why are you trying okay, to do listen, weird stuff? It's, it's fine, it's fine. Listen, we all do weird stuff, and, you know, today, you actually brought up a topic that I was actually really interested in, which was the whole end of the line thing, and then where we are now. It's like, true. Tell the viewers, yeah, like what you know, let them in on it. All right, so I was thinking that it's been roughly three months since End of the Line came out, and uh, if you remember, three months ago, everybody was just like throwing down gauntlets and trying to start fisticuffs with Gaben and Valve and all that. They were mad that uh, End of the Line map didn't make it into the game, and we had a five dollar cash grab duck piece and all that stuff, and. I just kind of was thinking, like, how different TF2 is now. Like, so many people are, are threatening to leave still, and the the pubs in general have been different. Like, I've noticed a rise of aimbots and glitchers and hackers and all this stuff. And even myself personally, like, anybody that knows me knows I am obsessed with TF2. Like, I love some TF2. And uh, I kind of liken TF2 to a marriage. So, like, sometimes, you know, you don't really like your significant other, they get on your nerves, you, you want to, like, divorce them and marry someone half your age. Overwatch, a.k.a. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Overwatch. But uh, at the end of the day, you still love your waifu or your game, and I'll always love TF2. Like, TF2 is my baby. But I've been that even kind of burned out on TF2 lately. And there's really nothing else to play. So, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if it was end of the line or what, but it just seems that ever since the uh, end of the line came out, man, like, things have just been... Is that you? Yep. Ah, uh, what a jerk. What? You were just going off. I was, ta I was, like, I was talking, bro. I, I didn't... saw you. Like, you, you, were just right. you, were, you hit me first. All right. I, I saw that. I saw the kukri. This is when we stop being polite and start being real. Roll back the replay. He, he hit me first. I saw that. Yeah, I did. I tried to hit uh, throw yeah. piss on you as well, but it didn't work. You see? And then I retake. Who throws piss on another human being while they're talking to them? You know what I mean? That's not how that works. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Because I have my lime green toss on, which means now I'm turning into Try Hard Scout. Try no, Hard okay. Scout. I'm going to run. I'm gonna what run. I'm gonna kill saying? everybody because I'm a try-hard scout. The, the difference uh, between the community from then till now. Oh. I gotta admit, when the end of the line thing first came out, dude, you had so many videos. Like I, people I, were just like, "Valve, you fucked up," and people were like, "How could you do this?" Like it was a dramatic period in every TF tuber's life. Like everybody just <laughs> wanted. -tuber. That's what they're called. Like it's, it was such a dramatic period. But I feel like it toned down a lot. At this point, people are just saying, like, Star is leaving, and they're calling Musuk the new Star or whatever. And yeah, they're just kind of, like, throwing accusations around, you know? I don't think Star don't, will ever know. stop TF2. Like, I guarantee you, TF2 is like, like it is with me for Star. Like, he might not like the game. He might get sick of the game sometimes. But he's, he's like gone on record saying it's, like, his favorite game. So, like, you just can't quit it, you know? It... If something comes out that makes it interesting or fresh again, I guarantee you Star will be posting a bunch of videos up again because it really is the greatest game that's ever been created, in my opinion. And, like, I think I'm honestly, too, the only one that didn't put up a negative video about End of the Line. And the I only reason I... that happened was because I didn't realize that they took the map out until, like, two hours after when I couldn't find it in rotation. But everybody yeah, else, mean, like even Mucus, put out like a rant video. But like, I, I don't, I'm not a big ranter. I, mean, I don't know about that. That can be <laughs> at least in videos. Uh, I try to be yeah, nice. Yeah, like. But Watch I mean, this you know, at the end of the day, though, I feel like one of the biggest things is that you. That's you. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna shoot you in the mouth. I don't think you will. Uh, oh, I thought you're gonna walk into that. You gotta love live comms with two people that have like acute ADD. Yeah, and one that got hand. hand in the face. 
<laughs> Looks like things can pan out for Scotia. All right, anyways. Look, all I'm saying is, at the end of the day, you know, the end of the line was just, like, it was one of those updates that was like a reality check. Like, the people finally saw an update that wasn't good. I mean, look at all the updates that have come before that. People were going crazy over those things. Bumper cars, all these new things. Huh, that was such a bad freaking update. The bumper the cars was horrible. You can't expect... Valve, after like seven years of consistently, because you gotta admit, for developers they've been consistently putting out content. It's ridiculous how much uh, effort they put into the game. But yeah. like, you, like they can't nail every single update every single year. Like, there's gonna be slip ups, like the whole duck thing. I was not a big fan of that. That seemed, cause you were right, it was a cash grab. It really was. But, I mean, I don't know. I guess, I sympathize with the fact that not every update is gonna be perfect. At the same time, though, I just wish they would have thought about it a lot more before putting it up. It just, it seemed rushed. Or they not the putting it up. Last minute. Yeah, yeah, or just that. Like, they didn't really, it seemed like they didn't care. They dropped the ball on it, but, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, and that's that was the thing that got me the most. Like, everybody, everybody lets Valve kind of ride on their past, like, wins, you know what I mean? Like, Valve is always the GOAT. Oh my Jesus, that was such a bullshit. Um, All right, what, 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 what's going on, Valve? <laughs> you twitching ass bitch. Anyway, so everybody has always let Valve just kind of like ride on their high horse and get away with murder. Like, they've been doing so many cash grabs for a while now. Like, that summer sale and the fact that they did five crates for summer where, you know, each crate had a few different cosmetics and people bought like a bajillion dollars in keys and stuff like that. And it's like, I mean, the community does the majority of the work for TF2 at this point. And uh, yeah. I, I'm glad that something finally came out that made people kind of question Valve. Because, not that I have anything against Valve. They're still the greatest, like, publisher, developer known to man. But if you let anybody rest on their laurels, they're going to get lazy and, like, just drop the ball, you know? So yeah, it happens a lot. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Which kind of makes me wonder, like... What is in store for the future of TF2? Like, if that Spy vs. NG, which literally makes me cringe even thinking about an update that focuses on Engineer, since you know how I feel about that guy. Yeah. But, uh... Not like, Dane, shots fired. Yeah, not no. Dane. <laughs> well, I tried, to get, I tried to get Dane to play with us, and he's like, No, bro, I'm, a, I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm all talked out. And that Dude, was not a shots dancer. fired. The I know. dancer now. You can't, like, you can't tame the beast within him. You know, I know, you it's insane. Sometimes. Yeah. He, I mean, yeah, it looked like he was having an epileptic seizure, but it looked fun. Yeah, no. Doing him. Yes! Oh, finally! Goodness. How are you so proud of that? Take like, that, King serious? Raja! I just <laughs> shot you in the face with a scatter me. gun. Good thing you didn't taunt. That would have made it much more embarrassing. I don't taunt, bro. Like, I should have taunted on that one. That would have been well-deserved. But I rarely well taunt deserved. unless it's you... very, very deserved. I am one towards you and you meat shot at me. I don't think that deserves like a You time. killed me three times in a row. If you would have got me that time, you would have had a dom. Which I'm therefore, good. therefore I'm I stopped good. it and yeah. I deserve that taunt. And Dude, all know. right, hold on. Let's talk about something else really quick since we're just kind of rambling and I'm going to put this on YouTube because... Oh, that's right. I forgot this is going to your YouTube audience. All yes. right, so... Yeah. No, no, hold what on, hold on. Look like really quick, about? look really quick. Like... <laughs> If you go, and this is what I understand, we're playing in a Washington server, right? I have a 48 right. ping, you have a 43, 212, 205, 219. Valve, make some effing servers for people in other parts of the world so they stay the F out of the Washington servers. Okay? No. Stay out. The ping no. is horrendous. Well, and this that too! To stay. Let's that talk about to this. Listen. Let's talk about this. this. Let's talk about the people that use the custom skins on a SV pure server and you are running around and you look like Gmod just threw up on you. Stop it! Play on a fucking custom server so that your skins actually work. Listen, listen man, I got two things to say about that, all right? Number one, the fact that there are people with hyping on the server is great because for me, that's just better target practice. I have more people to shoot at and they're, not, they're walking against walls so they can't move correctly. I'm just saying, there's a cost and benefit here. At the same time though, I have a Gaben mod. I mean, you can't hate on the Gaben mod, right? I, but you can't use it and you don't wear it in a server that you can't use it on. You know better. That's also true. Yeah. yeah that's you true. know, that's all I'm saying. I don't mind. Everybody have fun. 
But, like I was saying earlier, too, you can kind of tell where I'm at, like, when I was saying I was getting mildly annoyed with the game, if custom skins are pushing my buttons, you know? Yeah, no, I, I feel ya, because everyone has their breaking point where they're just like, alright, this needs to stop, otherwise I don't think I'm going to be enjoying my experience. I, I guess at the end of the day, that's what it is, you know, like, we see people like Star leaving, or just not even Star. Yeah, don't you, say that, like, Star's not leaving, like, I can never... Or, I mean, he was I, saying I, that, I only said that because, like... Well, he everyone... didn't say that, he just said he was getting bored with the game, there was no, like, that's what I hate about the TF2 community. And I'm just gonna like, this is shots fired or whatever. Like, people had the nerve to bitch about end of the line, and yeah, it was fucked up that they like took the map out, but at the end of the day, <laughs> you're the fucking people that like hyped it up. You're the ones that you like don't hype shit up, you know? Because if it doesn't live up to your expectations, then you're just gonna be all pissed off. So, the same thing, like, Star never said, I'm quitting TF2. He's never said it. He's even played TF2 on his. Twitch channel, which he never ever does, after the, the he made that why... Christmas video. <laughs> like, people well, just okay, want they're... drama. It's like we're watching the Kardashians it's in the TF2 that. community. What actually happened was that during that video, like, he mentioned that he was, like, taking a break, which implies that, yay, I, I'm not, like, I'm not saying, like, he's gonna leave, leave. I'm just saying, like, a leave of absence for a while, like a break, you know? That's what he said. That's what people are getting the whole leaving thing from. That's why uh, one of the one of the oh things is that God. regardless of people leave or not, I, I don't think it really matters at the end no, of the I day. Like, because like the last month alone, they said that there was like a guy on Reddit who literally had factual proof. This guy had charts and everything, and I'm I trust a man with charts. <laughs> this guy was saying that there was a hundred per hundred thousand people increase just in the community alone within playing TF2 on Steam. That is insane. That number hasn't been seen since, like, when this whole game went free to play. Yeah. Like, the numbers speak for itself. I mean, anyone can say, like, yeah, no, Star's a big impact and he's leaving, blah, blah, blah. But, like, it's not the end of the world because yeah. there are literally more people playing now than ever. Yeah, and there's so people I, that don't yeah. even know who Star... Like, they just played the game because they saw it was free on Steam and it has great reviews, you know? Right, right, right. Like, and I get that. And that's the thing. I love the fact that there's an influx of new players. Like, not just because they're easy to, like, meet shot. But it. I think TF2, unless unless Valve actually takes servers down, TF2 yep. will be forever. And and speaking of, all right, let, let's talk about this really quick. Because um, if TF2 does go down, like, say they, they finally take it down... What do you think would be the reasoning for them taking it down? Like, do you think that they're going to switch it over to Source 2? Uh, oh my the, gosh, that was the fastest death ever. The only reason... Well, you, you sat in front of a minigun. Alright, the only reason why I think that Val would ever take it down would just be temporary. Like, hey guys, we're moving to Source 2. Give us like a week and we'll get the game back up and running. But like, I don't even think that would happen. Like, that's just like a stretch. But, I mean, only, yeah, I, th I think Source 2 would be the only cause why they would say that they're going to take down TF2. But I don't think they'd ever do it. Even if they take down TF2, I don't know if you have been following the subreddit, like, during the December month, but some guy put up, I think this has been going on since November. So, some people on uh, T uh, Face Punch, I don't know if you know that forum site. Yeah. So uh, Rust and Gmod. Yeah, so all those people, they basically came up with a, uh, a version, 2007 version of a TF2 server. And, uh, they oh, were, I saw that, but it was uh, you had to yeah. hack it or whatever to get on there. Right, but if we can do that, honestly, as like a community of people, we can just get our own server and just hack into like a server version that's literally five years ago or something. I mean, just imagine, or not even five, eight years ago, or not... But numbers are beyond me, but it's been a long time. If we can hack that, I'm just saying, at the end of the day, even if Valve decides to pull the plug, we can just put it back in. Because as a community, we have access to so many of the files. Right. It's like, TF2 became such an open source material that anyone can do whatever they want with it. So, I mean, well, it's never going to die. you know, anything, but well, I, yeah, I feel I mean, what you're you get the point, right? Yeah. yeah, like, they can, you know, almost anything, you can, you can do a lot, you know. Oh, no air blast. If I get hit, I'm done, so... Um, oh, and just for the record, because, like, this is a live comm, there's really nothing I can do about the horrible playing or whatever. Um, 
We could be good. Just yes. for the record, <laughs> I'm getting crazy lag, so I don't want to hear a single, Oh my god, Scott, you suck at TFC. Like, I can't even shoot people because not only am I running Audacity, I have Demise's stream up in the background, and I'm watching that while talking to Raja, while playing TF2, and this running so, DX Story. This is unprofessional fucking This life. is what super is this? unprofessional, but you know what, it's Friday. A live stream on a yeah, Friday dude, while talking to his friend about, like, TF2 it's, dying, like what is this? It's meet your demise. Dude. Everybody should support meet your demise. He's a nice dude. There you go, guys. You know, support demise. Who's that? I don't know who that is. He's a TF tuber. TF2 and Terraria. Nice dude though. He asked me to play MVM with him, and I was going to be the scout. Like, could you imagine me playing scout MVM? Oh. Like, in case nobody knows, I absolutely hate MVM. No, um, I'll play with friends, and when I play MVM, I play heavy, and that's it. There's no other... Oh, bitch! I walked into the saw blade. You can't... Yeah, that's just... Come on. That's the end of the video, guys. No, I'm just playing. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> the end of my TF2 career. Uh, I'm go. quitting <laughs> video games until Overwatch comes out. Uh, expect an Evolve video oh. tomorrow. Overwatch? Okay. Dude, so Overwatch something... is playable at PAX East. I'm so pissed we're not going. No, we can go to PAX East. We'll book a flight there. Why not? No, we, we still might, need to get well. in. We still need uh, to get in, true. dude. Passes that's are true. sold out. Uh, that's not good. I know. It's time to hit up the network and be like, all right, listen, guys, I've given you X amount of dollars over the years. Can you give me some fucking PAX passes, please? Listen, TG. That was some alliteration, <laughs> dude. That was a I, that lot was, of alliteration. Was a lot of alliteration. I'm impressed. But yeah, Overwatch, because I was watching this other YouTuber that I watch. He doesn't do a TF2 or anything, but does a lot of content when it comes to live events and stuff. And he was apparently at that live event where they were showcasing Overwatch like yeah. way last year. Yeah, uh, BlizzCon. And yeah, so he got a chance to play it because he's one of... I think he he does a lot of Hearthstone stuff, so he got uh, a chance to... Oh, it's all about to, Blizzard. Yeah, so he's, he's all about that life. So the guy went in and he actually got a chance to do it firsthand. He played it firsthand and uh, he was talking about his impressions afterwards. And the way he described the game from, like, from just the alpha, I guess, what they showed him, was that it it does borrow heavily from TF2. So when oh, I people are getting, like, everyone's going to make jokes about it, obviously. Like, oh, this is a TF2 clone, whatever. But, like, it borrows heavily from it. And he was telling me that the gameplay is, is like, TF2, but on steroids. It's very nice. fluid. It's just a lot, like, so much action, real time. Everything is really well done because it's a Blizzard game. Right. And Blizzard does because they're known for games. It's an epic company. They're that known does for epic games. games. I'd hope so. Yeah, like since they, you know that's their company. They don't, they don't make Blizzard box or Blizzard controllers. You know what I mean? Like right. these guys are known for their Warcraft and their epic like proportion war, like mass world series. So I'm really excited to see what they have for Overwatch. I don't think it's gonna be a game killer because people like to say no. like Armageddon yeah. type of deal. Yeah, I'm not, I don't feel that, but I feel like uh, regardless, though, it's gonna be a really fun game when it comes out. Oh no, for sure. I'm looking forward to it just because I want something like the only two games that have ever I've ever like fallen in love with, where I've spent multiple thousands of hours of playing, has been COD 4 and TF2. So, like, even though I love TF2 and I will play TF2 until the servers are taken down. Like, straight up, I'm putting that on the books right now. Uh, February, what, 13th, 2015. It's on the books. But um, I want a game that, like, I can spend hours on and just still fucking want to play and, like, not go to bed and just play, 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 you know? And even, like, Evolve. Evolve is sick, dude. But I can't... I mean, after, like, an hour or two of playing Evolve, I'm just done. It's boring, yeah. No, it's, it's not boring. It's a good game. game. Like, I know you're not a huge fan of it. I can tell, because you, like, bitch out and stop playing with us. But, like, don't even try it. Oh, Jesus, even your fire pan. It's... it ne The pan doesn't stop. It, it knows no bounds, okay? Right, the pan is OP. Volvo, please nerf pan OP. Someone actually was saying that during Grizzly stream today because I was using pan to kill them. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm using right now the uh, the flog, the man melter, and then the back scratcher, which I just started using. And the thing is a beast. Like it has a, a damage buff. Scott uses McDonald's Wi-Fi. I do, bro. I actually uh, tether from my 3G phone. I tether from my Motorola Razor. Get on my huh. level. But, uh, 
I don't remember what I was saying. I was like, yeah, so the back scratch. I've never used this weapon in like four or five years of playing TF2. I don't even know how long it's been out. I've, been, I've never even looked at this shit. But it has like so many buffs on it. And the only downside is I think you lose like 75% 70, heals from medic. Like, who cares? There's health packs everywhere. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Hold on. Boom! <laughs> Look oh at that. Right that's what I'm talking about. about. It told you it's buffed and I feel bad because no. I just screamed into my microphone and you guys are gonna hear that I think uh, I think one topic that we should have like a good end note on for this video just like a suggestion here I think uh, one thing that is a hot button or it's been a hot button a hot is, button yeah like a hot button topic like it, it's a uh, you think valve is going to continue putting out these shitty updates where they don't listen to the community because uh, like a, a big issue because everyone talks about valve not listening there's so many bugs and just everything in this game that hasn't been fixed for like over five years so, um I don't dude, know, honestly i think that. i like and this is honest i think as long as people fucking give valve key money and shit like that valve is just milking their their golden cow you know Right. Like, obviously, they still care if they update and shit, but do they have a, a team set aside to make sure TF2 runs smoothly and updates and all that shit? No, because at this point, CSGO and Dota are taking the they're taking the reins as the moneymaker, so I don't think that they're going to ever get back to that unless, unless Source 2 comes out. And I think, honestly, what would just save TF2 and, and put TF2 back on the throne where they belong, because I, I'll say this too, like, I don't get Dota or CSGO, I don't I don't get the hype, I don't understand it, um, but to each their own, you know? Um, if they really did some type of competitive matchmaking, everybody would play TF2, dude. Everybody. Yeah, I, I don't know, if I guess if... Uh... TF2 never became a conga lining bumper car game, I mean, hey... Who knows? It could it could have had what it took. I don't I don't know. I just wasted my oomph, so. But I'm gonna end it off with killing you real quick, um, <laughs> ladies you, and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, this was the most disorganized video I've probably ever put up on my channel. Um, but this is real talk. This is real real talk. You know. We can't um, tell the real talk, uh, but we can. Yeah. <laughs> this is real shitty talk, but it's still real there talk you go. nonetheless. So thank you, Stapler, for joining. I'll put a link to your channel and Raja in the description box below. Don't support Raja because it just makes Stapler's head get bigger. And he does stupid shit like that and pans me, you prick. Listen, man, the but, uh, pain hurts. It's, you know. Let me know in the comment section below of, of anything that I talked about. Give me your thoughts and everything. Until next time, uh, take it easy, Wait. guys. One more what? thing. Uh, hey, uh, you, comment you, section. you interrupted my piece, dude. I'm sorry. Just, I got to say this. You know, if you guys have a name for the series, comment about it below. Because I want to see what people come up with. Well, they're going to call this shitty talk. Like, I did a Moisey video where we actually com like had a conversation. Yeah. And it turned out decent and normal. But I don't know what it is about you, man. You, like, bring out the worst in me in a good way. But... I appreciate that, you know. Yeah, no okay. problem, bro. Yeah. That's what friends are for. Oh, that's you. Yeah, it is me. Oh, Fuck! Fucking me pan, anyway. whatever. I still killed you and my apparitions <laughs> aspect is now tacky. Alright guys, till next time, take it easy. Peace.